Without my rifle, I am useless. All right, hey everybody. So uh, my uh, trailer video was mainly about seeing how far uh, this gun can uh, cause, well, the penetration results of this gun at 100 yards. All right, mission today. So we're going to see if a uh, 43 grain Seneca pointed will go through this Toyota Camry. This is like a 19, I don't know, 90 something. Let's see here. Vin says, it's a, it's a 2009. It's an 09. Toyota Camry Fender. I'm going to be setting it out to 100 yards. As a matter of fact, we'll just walk that down there right now. Da, da, da. Take a walk in my yard. See what's going on at the 100 yards. I haven't been down here in a while. What's that? There's some animal scat here. I got lots of stuff. Backers. Eggs. All right, so we'll put this up against the, uh, here. Like that. <clears throat> I'm going to put up my... Stop. That. Here's my uh, setup. We're going to shoot this and see if I can get. I got to bring a target down. If I have something to aim at, I'm gonna see if I can get it on target. If we just three minute video. Come on, man. Anyways, gonna get that going. From uh, over there yonder. That's not my house. <clears throat> With the heaviest pellets I have for it, which would be these uh, Seneca pointed hunting pellets, which were weighing in at 40 grains, not 43.2 grains. <clears throat> now I have the side shot set up. Today is very unfavorable conditions. It's not raining hard but there's drizzle out and I don't want my equipment to just get rained on the whole time so I'm trying to keep this brief I'm gonna keep my we're just gonna stick to the side shot um but anyways about this gun I bought this gun on eBay uh I don't know two or three years ago maybe two years ago uh it came with the LDC the uh Talon Tunes moderator which is really really nice I bought the Talon Tunes uh, four way pick thing. It was on sale. It was like 75 bucks versus 150 bucks. So I bought one of those. Uh, it gives you a nice way to mount your bipod or whatever else you want to mount on here, which I would really only put a bipod, like maybe a coyote, a coyote light or something like that. <clears throat> but so yesterday I was not impressed with the grouping results of this gun. So I basically cleaned the, clean the ass out of the barrel. I took the LDC off and I took the tank off and I, I ran, I cleaned it. Okay. So <laughs> a little bit of polishing as well. Um, it was insanely rusty, insane. I don't think the guy ever shot uh, the gun very much when I when I got it. It was a it's a 2010 model. Um, I also added the aluminum breech. Uh, anyways, it's running a stock hammer, heavy spring, no add weight in the, no hammer weight in there. Um, I'm running a china valve uh it's it's not the greatest really uh to be honest but uh, the original valve which i think produced better results started leaking so 
I think I can get that one fixed, so I'm going to probably work on that. Now, this gun was not grouping very well at all at 100 yards, and it should have been doing better. And when I cleaned the barrel, it was, yes, incredibly rusty. <clears throat> now, the thing I learned about these guns when I first bought one, which was my Talon SS, my wife bought it for me for whatever reason. Uh, it says in the manual, you're supposed to lube your, your, your ammo. You should lube your pellets. Uh, I believe that would greatly cut down on, on the rust inside your barrel. But not only that, it makes it, it makes it go way smoother out of the barrel. So again, I went through this barrel, uh, with, uh, a lot of cleaning products. I'm not going to go into detail about that. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna see what I did uh, to the barrel if it made it better and again I was not lubing my pellets so I have oiled these three offerings you have the uh, we're gonna shoot these and see if we can get where I was where I'm hoping like I want to get I want to get on at least six inches here and then I got Barracuda at uh, 30 0.8 grains, and then I have some JSB Exact King at 25.39 grains on the tin. I did not weigh these, I will weigh them after this, but... We're gonna be shooting. I've lubed these. I'm gonna do another video on how to lube your pellets so that they're not just coated in oil and dieseling like mad. It's very easy. Uh, all right, so all right, stay tuned. It's only be side shot from here on out. Have a good day.
water here. So let's see what kind of damage we got here. Did not hit the target. Ooh, ankle twister. Not enough to get through there. four times maybe it was up here so not enough power to go through the fender 100 yards shoot thanks for watching Lubing my pellets. So I have oiled these three offerings. We have the. Uh, we're gonna shoot these and see if we can get where I was. Where I'm hoping. Like I want to get. I want to get on at least six inches here, and then I got Barracuda at uh, thirty point eight grains, and then I have some JSB Exact King at. 25.39 grains on the 10. I did not weigh these. I will weigh them after this, but that's what we're going to be shooting. I've lubed these. I'm going to do another video on how to lube your pellets so that they're not just coated in oil and dieseling like mad. It's very easy. Uh, all right, so all right, stay tuned. It's only going to be side shot from here on out. Have a good day. All right, so this was yesterday's results uh, at 100 yards. Now that we're down here, I've painted over these because I went ahead and I shot the carnivore after I shot this, and that was carnivore, this is carnivore, that's carnivore. Brake barrel, and uh, there's another video coming on that. Yeah, that one is too. Okay, so the results were not penetrating the fender, obviously, but uh, my grouping was very sad. So I wanted to uh, see if we fix that today. All right, so I brought a new target down here. This one. All right. All right, this one. I got my sight in on the bottom. And my uh, three offerings we're gonna do. It's gonna be backwards and side shot, so this is gonna look like it's over here. Anyways, this is gonna be the Seneca, this is gonna be the Barracuda, this is gonna be the JSB. And then when I shoot those, I'm gonna shoot at this first to make sure we are got our holds right. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I, I also bumped the pressure up in the tank a little bit. And I wound the wheel up to, uh, I think it's 9 or 10. Uh, so, let's see if we increase the energy. I don't have my, uh, what the hell, the chronograph. I don't have that today because it's probably not a good time to use your chronograph in the rain. All right, this will be side shot from now on. Okay, so as you can see here, I am aiming what I would consider to be fairly on the target, and my shot is going, in this case, would be going over to the right since it's reversed in the side shot. Uh, so what I think is going on here is my scope is not perfectly level and square to the bore, 
and when you shoot holdovers like this your angle on that vertical reticle is very important uh, you need to make sure that it is 100% square otherwise you're going to be aiming at the target and your gun is going to be pointing to one side or the other uh, because it is aligned with the center radical center of the radical where the two radicals intersect that is your aim point and when you move your scope up or down and expect to hit the same spot and your scope is tilted it is going to throw your shot off Must have closed my eyes for this shot. With the side shot, you can really see your heartbeat. And uh, you can really see how bad your shot timing is when you're trying to uh, pull the trigger. to the barracudas. Let's just test it on here first. Okay, so super high with these. All right. Hopefully it goes in that same place twice. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Alright, so we were... I was right there. Alright, JSB now. Hopefully these actually hit something.
All right, so here we're downrange. I feel like my groups have improved out of this gun. This is the JSB group. I'm not sure where the fish shot went. I'm gonna have to go through, I'm gonna have to analyze the scope cam footage. Uh, but these are the Senecas. I'm not sure if this is a Barracuda. So these five look like Barracuda. This one, this one, this one, and this one. <laughs> the Seneca, I mean, can you believe that? Uh, this one, I think, is a Barracuda. And um, I think I put two into one of these holes with the JSB. The JSB, this is, this is it. I don't know if that's one. Again, we'll have to check the scope cam. Uh, but I know five hit metal with the JSB and five hit this with the, it's hard to tell, everything's metal here. There's metal, metal, everything's metal. So uh, yeah, scope cam it is. There you go. Much improved over this back here. This here, this here, this here, this here. It's, it's tightened up a lot. Still, these guns aren't. <laughs> All right, so you may think that this gun can't do that anyways. At any yards. Well, I'm at about half the distance here. We got our Seneca pointed. I'm going to point my gun right at that target over there. 50 yards. That one, uh, something about that shot seemed weak. Let me take another one. Let's hit that one too. All right, so at 50 yards, this was a two stack, and we have a a breach in the metal, as you can see. I'm gonna move it up to 25. All right, so now we are here at my fifth. Uh, this is 25 yards. This back there, that's 100. This is 25. All right, this is 25 yards, 40 grain Seneca pointed, car sheet metal penetration test, go. It's pretty interesting, watered that sucker right in there. No penetration even still. We have this poking through the backside. Let's do a slug test. Okay, so I got that in Nielsen's. We're back at 50. 50 yards. Pressures. There. And uh, let's do this. And I got a 43 grain Nielsen loaded in here. Let's see how this does. Through the bushes. All right, 25 yards uh, with the uh, Nielsen slugs. There we go. All right, this is 25 yards, Nielsen slug. That went through. All right, so not even a, not even a Nielsen slugs went through there. Twenty five yards. Look at, I got I got stuff to go through this. I don't know what the hell's going on here. So they widen up there. 
turn it up. I have turned the power wheel up just a hair. And that seemed to have done nothing. Damn. All right, so uh, this was the, after I dialed it up with the slug, I was aiming down here. And here's the hole. These are pointed right here. That's where it went through. So I'm gonna shoot one more time. I'm gonna try and hit right here. And it's gonna go through. I think it was up like an entire, like, lot of mill dots. Off to the scope cam. This was my shot, and there's a hole right through there. So you say my gun won't shoot through this, it'll shoot through this. But distance matters. I guess ammo type matters too. Look at that. Okay, so this is the conclusion to this uh, video, this long video. Uh, I've been sitting on this footage for a month now. Yeah, uh, it's been busy this month. I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I got a lot of other projects I'm doing too. Uh, I've been just busy, basically. So I haven't been on YouTube uh, very much. I got I have another account on TikTok. I've uh, got a video to go viral, so I'm uh, been kind of focusing a little bit on TikTok. Anyway, this uh, this in conclusion basically is a uh, thank you for watching this long video. Uh, and distance does matter. I can uh, attest to this firsthand. In another situation, two of them, as a matter of fact, I'm not too thrilled about those two situations. Uh, but uh, I've learned a lot about this gun doing this video. Uh, it took me a while to edit all this, all this together because it's it's a lot. It was a lot of video I've gone through. Uh, <clears throat> It's a half hour long. It's a long video, I know. Uh, if you care to watch this, I am going to be putting some uh, skip arounds in the in the comments because it is a long video, uh, and I do kind of jump around in the video, so it's a little confusing. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you watch the whole thing. Uh, Congrats, maybe you found the whole thing interesting. Uh, some of it's kind of boring, but uh, I, I finally got it done. I can move on to other stuff. It's been kind of daunting, lordy. Looming over my head, this video, I've been kind of putting it off. So it's done. I'm going to put this one to bed. Thanks for watching.